Hello, families. We have been practicing writing our name, our letters of the alphabet, both upper and lower case. And today, we are going to be practicing writing our numbers. Your book has a student writing their numbers from 1 to 10. However, we are going to focus today's lesson on writing our numbers from 1 to 20. If your student can go beyond 20, that is awesome. Have them go as high as they can, because as you know, our goal in kindergarten is for students to be able to say their numbers from 1 to 100. Remember that you can find the way our numbers are formed within your student handbook writing without tears book. And it is found on page 83 within that book. There are also tons of great resources online that will help your students with writing their numbers. I always recommend putting topics and lessons to song. So I found a really cool song online that's about writing your numbers. And this would be a really great warm-up activity that you could do with your student. Before they actually sit down to write, they can watch this video. So this would be a fun video that you can play and show your student, and this will help them remember how to write their numbers as well. Now at the top of your page here, you can see that they recommend taking the chalkboard that came with your kit. I have that right here. And they say that you can wet a sponge or have a bowl with water and your student can wet their finger. And they can use this to practice writing their numbers as well. Now there are lots of wonderful things out there to help you write your numbers. As you saw in that video, you can take a piece of paper and you can dot it and have your student trace those dots. You could also use paper and marker. You could use paper and paint. Students love to paint. You could write your letters and your numbers in the sand. Or you could use the dry erase board that came with your kit, and you can practice writing your numbers with that dry erase marker as well. So lots of great ways that your students can practice without always having to use just paper and pencil. So go ahead and choose one of those different ways to practice writing. Um, for today's lesson, we're going to focus on using our paper and writing within those lines. So here I have my handwriting without tears paper that we will continue to use. Remember, eventually we are going to use to move into paper that looks more like the standard paper that your students can continue writing with uh, throughout kindergarten and throughout first grade and on. So using this paper and your pencil, we are going to start writing our numbers. As I said, we'll write 1 to 20. And then, of course, if your student is ready to move on past 20, I would encourage them to do that. If your student is still working on numbers past 20, not a problem at all. That is a goal that you can set for the end of the school year. Remember, when writing, always remind your student to start at the top. And if you need to, refer back to this page so that they see where to start and how the, the numbers are formed. Of 
course, you know at the top of your page, have your student write their name, and then they can begin writing their numbers. I want you to do the same thing that you did with your letters. If you notice that one of your numbers have been written backwards, I would let your student know to look back at their number chart, to erase, and then write that number the correct way. We want all of our numbers to be written correctly. After your student finishes their chart, this would be another great tool to have posted in your work environment. That way your student can refer back to it and be proud of their writing. So when they get finished, your paper will look just like this unless they were able to go past 20. Thank you for watching and happy writing.